I want to bring you something cool out of ancient Egypt. Everybody said that, you know, everything we have is new. Everything is brand new. Nobody's ever had anything that anybody's ever seen. Yet. No, there weren't ancient stone structures found here in America. In my book, Live Recycle Temporary Practice, I basically state that it's all a cycle. They, they do everything in the whole cycle of things, and everything is told as new. But it's not. And relating to that, I found things on uh, Egyptian mummies, ancient Egyptian mummies, and basically these are these had cocaine in. Um, <laughs> this was uh, they were this was basing back of, in the, uh, the pharaohs was basing. Smuggled, and then somebody put cocaine. This was actually in the Egyptian uh, mummy inside the tissue sample. So basically, what the saying is these mummies had access to cocaine in ancient Egypt. Which comes from uh, South and America. I don't know how much you want to bet on that, but I'm almost at a point where I believe that they had the majority of tech and the majority of things you and I have every day. I don't know about that, but... So, basically, this is the idea. It's possible, though. I ain't going to say it ain't possible okay. with the time travelers, you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. So the time travelers could have said, hey, man, check this out, man. You know what? This is actually coming from a university. So let me click this. American drugs and Egyptian mummies. Or it says American drugs, but cocaine is actually not American. But, yeah, this is too much information. Okay, so they found the exit. Uh, Roxel and Coca. And yada, yada, yada. Egypt before Columbus. So you can read all these things all you want, folks. I'm not going to because I haven't spot checked this. But basically, this is. I've heard this before, dude. I heard this 10, 15, 20 years ago. Cocaine uh, and mummies. They've known about this, man. It's just like the giant skeletons, man, that the Smithsonian. Uh. 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 You know, sent to that big warehouse in uh, Indiana Jones, man, or in X-Files, man, where they uh, put the implant in the fucking giant warehouse that, uh, you know, of evidence that they conceal, man. I mean, it's insane. And then maybe this does give some validity to the whole, uh, uh, what is it, Grand Canyon Egyptian mummies. You know, what if this was like a little uh, proxy of Egypt at one point in time, you know, like in South America? And, you know, you see the giant pyramids in China with the Mercury Rivers, the Yellow Emperor or whatever, dude. And then, I mean, you see, you see this happening over and over again, like, in China, what do they do? They make, uh... Uh, they make stone and uh, and metal uh statues of themselves. What they do in Greece, they made all them stone statues. They used to say people got pregnant by the statues of of Zeus. I mean, in the in the Bible, once again, the Bible mentions Zeus, Hermes, Apollo, uh, uh, Moloch, uh, Asterisk, uh. The uh, Queen of Heaven. I mean, it mentions every single, I mean, most of these deities that, you know what I'm saying, that we see resurfacing in the culture. You know, you go to uh, Washington, for instance, and it's a big occult, uh, you know, uh, it's a big giant uh, geoglyph, man, geomancy <laughs> situation. And uh, they've been doing that. You know, you go, they learned all this from Egypt. Rome stole it from Egypt. That's why after they took over Egypt, they uh, took all the obelisks and started transporting them around. But, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, man, that's crazy with these uh, cocaine in the mummies, man. That's And then you look back at, like, the, even the biblical situation, the, uh, the new pharaoh. You know, that wasn't uh, in Exodus. And there's a point in it where he says, I am God. And, well, if these guys were all doped out on cocaine, like say they had a Scarface proportion of cocaine where they could sit in their, you know, their uh, 
uh, you know, sit in their office and just put their face in a big plate, you know, a big golden platter of, you know, some yay, uh, straight up Peruvian uncut, uh, the old, uh, <laughs> you know, ancient, uh, uh, some ancient dope, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, stuff that, uh, you know, they didn't, uh, CIA didn't have their hands in. But, uh, it makes sense, you know, why a guy would say something like that, too. I mean, I'm, it doesn't mention that in there, but it does mention, all right, people don't understand that, like, when you, when you refer to sorcery, a lot of sorcery is really to do with drug use as well. It's it it is with the symbols and the and and just it's chemistry basically and a lot a lot of I mean because what is medicine can heal you which is it seems supernatural right or like say you had pain in your leg oh oh and then they give you some opium and you drink this opium elixir and you don't feel the pain no more that's magic or uh, you know say you're depressed you know what I'm saying and now you take this stuff and you just don't care no more. Because, you know, you got this dope up in you. That's a sorcerer. You know, magicians are more on the sleight of hand trickery. Uh, the, the mind, the mind gaps. You know, magicians attack your mind, your beliefs, your superstitions. They play on that stuff. Like, like a crystal ball readers, tarot readers. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a form of, uh, it's more like psychology. Magicianry is more like psychology, okay? But sorcery is more like pharmakia that's that's means pharmacy so that's the use of uh you know the chemicals man uh i mean at least that's the way i see it there's a differentiation between the two but i mean witchcraft is just is is the craft of rebelliousness you know what i'm saying really what, what it boils down into the bible too but i mean though the whole spirit channeling and all that stuff is part of it too but i mean really it just people who that are rebellious and want lawlessness they're that's practicing witchcraft is to make it is to to sell that to get make that appealing to people is witchcraft because i mean you're you're literally put, must be putting people under a spell to get them to believe in some of this crazy stuff that we see people do and they have done like the nazis the nazis was a big gang you know what i'm saying it was where they wanted to have a global gang and that would be called the world government, the new world order, a global gang where they take everything over. Uh, and they were on, like uh, they said, Hitler was doped out on the amphetamines. So, I mean, there's a there's also a correlation with your with your tyrannical, crazy world leaders and drugs sometimes, too. Uh, I mean, I bet. Well, I was watching uh, a Chris Everard uh, little thing where he was talking. And, and uh, I mean, and he, he's documented how all these royalty bloodlines uh, used to do these blood rituals. And that's, they get like a euphoria or they think that it's keeping them alive, things like that. Uh, so, I mean, same thing. I mean, different. It's still, it's that dope mentality where, oh, I need to sacrifice another maiden. And a bathe in her blood. That's the same thing as, oh, man, go, hey, man, go uh, get us another kilo. You know what I'm saying? It's the same mindset, you know. Uh, so it's pretty crazy, man. Right? It's like I'm glad this dude did this because it's like there's so much stuff going on right now. Sometimes it's good to take a step back from it and, and get out of the present moment and, and, and remember the history. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or even forgotten history or obscure history. For a second, because it, and then the more you know about history, the more the future makes sense to you. You know, the more you see what where we're going from the present. But you got to know you got to have these. It's kind of like, listen, it's like eyeballs. You know, having two eyeballs gives you depth perception in 3D. Only having one eye, you, you can still see, but you it's just you need two Two different perspectives. We got one on our face. Even though they focus on one thing, one point, the two different perspectives focusing on one point gives you the the depth. You know, you can see the uh the side, you know what I'm saying? Uh and around something. But uh uh if you know if 
it's the same thing. Like if you only if you're only p- focusing on the future, it's like you're only using one of your eyes. Then if you're so stuck in the past that you can't see the present or the future, that's the same thing. It's like you're only using one of your eyes, man. You're not using your whole <clears throat> ability to to view and perceive. But this is one of those things where it's like I don't know how many of you are privy to that. I've been like I said, I heard about that 10, 15 years ago. So I mean. And it's, it, it's, it, you, that's just one of those things that you can go in and see that history is straight up, uh, whacked, man. That, or what they told us history is, is whacked, man. And I mean, it's a lot more, it's a lot crazier and, uh, connected than they, for some reason, they don't want us to know this, man. I mean, I don't know why it's such a secret, uh, and and how, why all these other people are obviously uh a lot of people are in on it man on the, in on the cover up cuz i mean it is a big cover up and uh it's just it's crazy that's that's part of the occult though the occult needs to keep certain knowledge hidden supposedly uh when babylon uh when egypt overtook babylon you know what i'm saying or uh, the original Babylon or Babel, you know, that, that knowledge went to Egypt, you know, and then they hid all the secret knowledge from Babylon before from Babel, from the general public, kept it for the elite hierarchy so they could dazzle and mystify and bread and circus their, uh, you know, their slave surf class, you know what I'm saying? Forever. Uh, and then each conquering, uh, power, nation, whatever, people took the same knowledge, incorporated it into their own stuff, and then did the same thing and withheld the, the, the esoteric, you know what I'm saying, from people and kept it heavy occult. And uh, it's it just, you can see this uh, played out over and over again. And then we have our scientific elite, our academic fascists, Doing the same thing to us. They're keeping something. I mean, because think about it. Think about the, 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 the head power that you'd get. You know, your ego power. Like, ha, 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 ha. We keep the truth from you. You know what I'm saying? It makes you. It puts you in a position of power because you know things that, that you just won't allow no one else to know. So that's, that's their motive for doing it. But then besides the motive of that just egotistical. It's also profitable because now you can sell people second and third rate technology for maximum high dollar, do all kinds of artificial scarcity techniques. And then if you even think about going back in history, if they can do have a time machine, all right? Now look at that movie, uh, Back to the Future, where the dude Biff gets a hold of the almanac. Now, that would explain so much stuff, just like if they really do have square, cube, uh, you know, uh, crafts, you know what I'm saying, and circle crafts and triangle pyramid crafts. We got triangle pyramid crafts right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the government has them. I mean, I'm not sure if, it's, if they want to make us think it's alien and it's really just human technology or it's occult technology. And it's not extraterrestrial, or it's extraterrestrial occult technology. Either way, it doesn't matter. They still have it. So if they did use these crafts to go back in time, ancient man is is uh, depicting them on the sides of stone uh, cliffs. Uh, you know, uh, makes makes a lot more sense, man. And just like even this, here's he, this is crazy. I, the Hopi who were built these these walls. If you go to England, you find this guy who did an identical, uh, he used to build houses out of the side of cliffs, and they, they were identical to the stuff that, that the Hopi did, man, or uh, the man Anastasi or something like that, man. The guys who, who the Pueblo maybe, that's who it is. They hid in these caves, these built, these carved caves, man, and, it, and, they, and it, the dude from England has the, the identical architecture. It's just crazy. So, I mean, they dazzle and mystify us. And then some of the stuff is just real simple explanations, man. 
They said they've been traveling here a lot longer. They knew about it. It's a big secret. 